So the Dali Stakes is next. This is another Group 3. I have a nine furlongs this time. Let's hope they all remain visible throughout the race this time. All north of Leon Van Rensburg at the top. Kind of special poor roads. Mabs Cross, Darren Thompson, Mystic Lake, Leon Van Rensburg, Profligate, Ryan Costello, Sea of Tar, Craig Beckwith, Van Vanquish, Joshua Southern, Barrero, Playful, Hems, Hidden Wagon, Craig Beckwith, Jesmion, Altimist, David Robertson, Lugo, Darren Thompson, Passato, Ryan Costello, Sagacity Steps for Dan Hughes, Born to be Wild for Craig Allen, Joan Jet, Paul Rhodes, Keskianto, Janella, Dan Hughes, and Woohoo Comanche, Vinnie Gerard. Some good names in this, and they're all in, and away they go. And Barrero played for the Sagacity Steps were quickly out. So too was Order War and kind of special and profligate as well. But they sorted themselves out now. Profligate looks like it's going to be the early leader. Going to try and get to the fence and cut across kind of special. Vanquish Mystic Lake is also up there as well. So too is is Order War. Lugo is now making a forward move and right over on the far side. Mabs crossed the grey. He's come through to just about take it up, I think. So they're definitely in two groups. Right over on the far side, it's Mabs Cross leading Vanquish and Mystic Lake and right down on this near side it's kind of special leading profligate with a little bit of a gap then back to Lugo and the other grey there Sea of Tar looking towards the back Passato and Joan Jett are off the pace at this stage they race down towards the five furlong mark then and Mabs Cross right over on the far side of the track is in the lead from kind of special over on the near side in second profligate and vanquish the second and third then Mystic Lake at the moment I would say the far side are probably looking the stronger bunch but Mabs Cross is clear in the lead of that group by about two lengths so Mabs Cross is in the lead then Profligate and kind of special down this side then Lugo Vanquish is also still there one or two now trying to make a forward move Woohoo Commander's trying to come through as well so too his hidden wagon but it's Mabs Cross who's still in front Mabs Cross over on the far side from Lugo on the near side and now coming through Woohoo Comanche Woohoo Comanche's coming through to challenge for the lead but it's Mabs Cross who's still in front with two furlongs to go definitely the far side have it Mabs Cross in the lead from Woohoo Comanche also coming through there now is Jexman Altimist Definitely over on the far side, but now the near side's beginning to catch up again. As kind of here comes Joan Jet now bursting through. Mabs Cross, Woohoo Comanche on the far side. Joan Jet on the near side, but it's still Mabs Cross and Woohoo Comanche. Joan Jet, Mystic Lake's trying to finish well, but now Joan Jet's hit the front and Joan Jet is racing up towards the line. And Joan is going like a jet, and Joan Jet takes it from Mystic Lake and Mabs Cross. And then Lugo and Jismi and Altimus and Profligate and Passato ended up to be the last two. But it looked like the far side had got that, uh, that race well and truly won. But Joan Jett came through like a turbo flyer, didn't she? And just burst through everybody over on this near side and took it quite comfortably in the end, really. Mystic Lake got up for second. So Joan Jett, the winner for Paul Rhodes. Mystic Lake second for Leon Van Rensburg. Mabs Cross, the long time leader for Darren Thompson, was third. Who also took fourth with Lugo. And kind of special for Paul Rhodes was fifth.